An emergency meeting of the Cypriot cabinet was held at the presidential palace following the release of the Al Jazeera investigation. The Υπουργοί Οικονομικών και Εσωτερικών κατέθεσαν πρόταση για κατάργηση του παρόντος επενδυτικού προγράμματος. Μιλούμε για οριστική κατάργηση, κύριε Πρόσωπε. Ναι, έχει καταργηθεί το παρόν επενδυτικό πρόγραμμα. As a flurry of developments followed, the Cyprus Attorney General said he was launching a full investigation into the evidence gathered by Al Jazeera. What has been published in the last few hours by the Al Jazeera News Network is causing outrage, anger and concern among the people. I have given clear instructions to the police leadership from the outset to conduct a full, thorough and in-depth investigation into the possibility of anyone committing criminal offences. Undercover reporters from Al Jazeera's investigative unit posed as representatives of a fictional client, a wealthy businessman who was sentenced in absentia to seven years in jail for bribery and money laundering. And he is seeking a Cypriot passport. Our reporters were led through a network of enablers that ended with a meeting with Dimitris Souluris, president of the Cypriot parliament. You can tell him that he will have, without mentioning my name or anybody else, yeah. full support of Cyprus. At any level, political, economic, yeah. social, everything. Okay. When confronted with the evidence, Souluris denied wrongdoing and claimed that he was suspicious of our undercover reporters from the start. O Al Jazeera γνωρίζει, είμαι βέβαιος ότι γνωρίζει, ότι ο συγκεκριμένος πράκτορας τους αναφέρθηκε στις Κυπριακές Αρχές. Dimitris Souluris has since announced that he'll be stepping down from his duties until the investigation is complete. Opposition Member of Parliament Christakis Giovanni was also implicated in the documentary. It's not easy. Mm. Take a promise. Yeah. We shall do the best. Today, in a statement, he announced he is resigning from his post as Member of Parliament and from all his positions in the opposition party. For years, there have been suspicions in the European Union that the Cyprus investment programme was allowing criminals to enter Europe with the proceeds of their crimes. The revelations of our investigation have shaken the political leadership of this country. After years of failed attempts to tighten the rules, the scheme will now be abolished. And it seems the Attorney General's investigation will examine the full extent of the wrongdoing. David Harrison, Al Jazeera, Cyprus.